Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nick. I go by Flip Nick here on YouTube and I've got a little tutorial for you today. A couple days ago, I was looking around for a better way to take photos of shirts and shorts for my eBay store and for my Poshmark store. And I came up with a solution. I actually found it from someone on YouTube who had made a video about it. And so I made my own video for my audience. So I'm showing you today what I believe is called the slant lay method. So basically kind of like a flat lay, but also almost like hanging. Uh, it's to make a slanted board and then you photograph. Uh, all the things that I show you today, all the products and everything are gonna be linked in the description below. Those are affiliate links. So if you check out any of those links below and you purchase one of them, Amazon will give me a little cut for promoting those items. With that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing we've got here is a giant board. This is a four foot by eight foot, and I think it's 7 16 thick. Uh, plywood from Lowe's. They're pretty expensive right now because wood prices are up. And then I have these Mount Dog, very cheap, very affordable, very uh, flimsy, we'll say, light stands. However, they do an excellent job. Uh, you get the light stand, you get the socket, and you get the bulbs. Uh, you can see right here, I'm getting some shots of this shirt. And this is exactly straight out of the camera. I'm not doing any editing to these photos. It's right out of the camera. And then uh, I grab my little yard stick and I just hold it there while I grab the measurements from the length and the pit to pit or the width. So that way that information is in the photos of each listing. So then uh, once that's done, I set that aside. I flip the shirt around and I photograph the back of it. I just take one shot. So my aim is to get a full frontal shot and then get a few detail shots, get the measurement shots and then get one full back shot of the shirt. Uh, and this all crosses over to uh, pants as well as shorts. You can photograph anything that would normally lay flat or hang can go on this board. The next thing I have is a shirt folder. I love this thing. I got it on Amazon a long time ago and it works so well. You just lay your shirt on there. You fold the bottom up above that bottom edge of the folder. You flip, flip, and then flip and it's folded neat and tidy. And the great thing is they fit into these one gallon Ziploc bags, which is how I've been uh, storing all of my shirt inventory. You'll see some more of that in a moment, but basically put it in the bag, zip lock that bag. I fold it like this and press it to get most of the air out. It's like, I would say probably 95% of the air out and it's almost vacuum sealed at that point. Grab the next shirt. Uh, this is a Nike golf polo. The cool thing about this board is because it's wood that's just painted, there's sort of um, a roughness to it. So it helps to hold the shirt in place while I get the pictures. Uh, even on a long sleeve shirt, those sleeves are going to lay out. It's gonna look like it's hanging, but it's not gonna sag like it's hanging. So you save your back because you don't have to do the lay flat method, which can really wreck your back if you're constantly bending over and standing up and holding your arms up above the lay flat board. Uh, this is sort of a hybrid between hanging and laying flat. So this is really working for me and what I've been doing. Uh, I was able to knock out 15 shirts yesterday in a short period of time. I, I don't even know, it was so quick. Uh, I knocked out 15 shirts, got them all folded and bagged and set aside uh, to go into the inventory. So once again, I'm gonna show you the folding method. I like to button up that top button just because it helps it sit more neatly within the Ziploc bag. Once again, fold the bottom up above that bottom edge of the folder, flip, flip, pull that in, and then flip again, and it's done. And honestly, uh, you can go a lot faster than this. I'm taking time here because I'm making a video and I don't want to rush through as I'm making this video, so I'm going a little bit slow on all of the procedures here. But typically I will turn on the office or I will turn on uh, Parks and Rec or an audiobook or podcast and I'll just listen while I do the work. And there it is. On the Ziploc bag, I have uh, the SKU number, which is S018 and S019 for these two shirts. And so I'll find their location in the box where they belong. They fit right in there. I can fit 20 bags of shirts in each box. And then whenever someone purchases, I can go right to that box, get it out. It's already folded. I just pull it out of the Ziploc bag and put it into a poly mailer and it's ready to go. Super organized, super clean. This thing, I think it costs $15 maybe on Amazon. If you wanna pick one up, link in the description. Like I said, all the stuff that I'm showing you here today is linked in the description. It folds up neat and tidy into a little package right there. 
and you can just set it aside. And then when you're ready for it, it flops right open, no problem. Now going into the lighting system I use, here's the mount dog. Uh, for this particular kit, you get this soft box. It's got the light mount, it's got the light uh, socket, and the cord socket, all of that is all kind of one unit. You've got your on off switch, boom, boom, just like that. So with this, you get two soft boxes, you get the uh, bolt stands, you get the white shade on the front, and you get two light bulbs to go with it. So a neat and tidy little thing. I think I paid $50 when I bought it, but I'll link that down below as well in case you wanna pick one up for yourself. There's never any pressure for you to buy the stuff that I'm recommending. I'm just putting it out there in case it can help you. Like I said, those are affiliate links. So if you do buy something from them, Amazon will give me a little kickback from their end of the profit. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you got value from it. Let me know if it was helpful to you or if you do something like this similarly. Uh, let me know those things in the comment. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing if you like tutorials and videos like this and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>